Assalamu alaikum beautiful people Hope you guys are doing well Having a great time Today I'm here with another exciting opportunity It's a short term internship program in Thailand And it's a kind of fully funded and self funded program So we have limited numbers of seats for the scholarships And you can apply by yourself on a self funded basis But if you want to apply for the scholarship there are limited numbers of team uh, seats which means tough competition and you have to apply as early as possible. Before starting this video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly go, please check out all these videos. I am making these videos all for you guys and you will find many beneficial videos which will uh, help you out and tell you how exactly you are supposed to apply and get, this, uh, get whatever scholarship you want to. So subscribe to my channel. If you guys want to join us on Facebook, you guys can join us on Facebook. If you guys want to join us on WhatsApp, the, group, the link of that group will be given in the description below. Okay, so this uh, scholarship is from SIIT, which means uh, Sri Tron International Institute of Technology, Thailand. It's now ex uh, accepting application for the short-term internship program. The duration of the SIIT is uh, two months. It will take place at SIIT, Thamsat University, Thailand. There is no need of TOEFL alerts. Okay, so bachelor's or master students with an excellent academic record can apply. Only students from SITT, SIIT partner universities are invited to join. So what are SIIT partner university? That's a separate story. We'll go into that and uh, we'll check it out. Host country Thailand, host university this and internship location is this, internship duration is this, internship month is this, this is, these are the areas or fields which are available. You can check out all these fields if you think you are eligible or in one of these fields you can like apply for them. Number of scholarship as I told you they are limited, they are, it's very tough competition. So 10 international uh, uh, scholarships will be granted or uh, international internships will be granted which will be I believe fully funded and the stipend will be 4500 baht and accommodation will be provided so uh, eligibility criteria bachelor's or master's degree with uh, an excellent academic record and have good health and good conduct officially nominated by the home university to SIIT required documents application form resume transcript copy of passport two strong recommendation letters one from the academic instructor or advisor so how you're supposed to get the scholarship you're just supposed to click on this button and when you click on this button an application form will be automatically downloaded so we will go into that application form later on first of all uh, click on this SIIT partner university when you click on this <clears throat> this page will open up and these are the list of the partner universities as follows from Bhutan Cambodia China Indonesia Japan and Korea Laos Malaysia Myanmar Nepal Sri Lanka Taiwan Vietnam Egypt India Australia uh, Czech Republic, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Portugal, Switzerland, United Kingdom, Canada, United States of America. So Pakistan is not available in the list and uh, many more of the countries are not available in the list. But uh, these are I cannot say something about this but I, all I can say is uh, the list of the countries I have viewers from different countries that's why I am making this video so if you are from one of these countries then you are eligible for this uh, internship and you can apply for this internship and uh, more often if you have great academic record then you will be for sure selected for a, um, a scholarship so how you're supposed to apply let's go for this uh, form and see what we got okay 
starting from the start take one they're talking about which semester you want to uh, continue as they are like uh, first semester or second two semesters for internship so which you want to continue and like uh, there is a timeline I'll show you the timeline then you will understand which you're supposed to click so please type or write the English using block name first name last name personal information religion nationality place of birth citizenship ID and blood type permanent address these are the things you can do on your own mailing address we'll go next okay reason for applying to be an exchange student so this is the uh, keeping your academic record aside this is the um, second part which will help you to boost up your application which will help you to play a part in selection uh, of your application or like uh, you I, I will suggest you that you should work really hard on this portion that why you want to apply for this program why you want to be an exchange pro uh, student how this opportunity will affect you your uh, surrounding your country your um, your personal goals your personal motives intentions towards the future so these are all the things you can use Google you're not supposed to copy anything you have to write your own story so that uh, you you can like uh, kind of make up to them and they would obviously recommend only those people who will have true um, gesture to apply for this currently study enrollment so please attach a copy of your transcript or official academic record write the name of the institute from the part partner university major start date of academic program expectation graduation date expected degree city country last gpa field of interest you can um select more than one and expected supervisor at siit so how you are supposed to uh, contact these supervisors and how you are supposed to write the name of supervisors that's something else i will let you know in a while um, but you whenever you select one you just write the name of the supervisor and the uh, uh, interested topic in you know applicant signature date so that's it that's almost completed application form this is the form we are uh, dealing with right now you have to attach your uh, professional resume you have to attach your transcript of uh, record and certification or letter uh, copy of the passport to recommendation letters so these are all the five things okay so this is the things I want you to really like kind of hear uh, carefully all documents need to be sent via the international office of the home university to SIIT we will not accept the applications directly from the students so basically when these all five uh, documents are ready then you have to kind of submit these documents by hand to the international office of your home university and uh, uh, till now your home university has been like kind of made a notification or announcement about the SIIT internship so you have to go ask your university's office or whoever you think they can help you with it that you find the uh, exact announcement about the scholarship and see how they can help you but uh, overall they are solely responsible for sending your applications uh, by post and some of the universities might charge you and some of the university will send your documents uh, on their own so that depends and vary from university to university but uh, I have explained you the process the how this process will work and how you're supposed to contact your university so talking about the uh, faculty just write down SIIT faculty and click on school of MIT school of ICT whatever you want and when you click on them you will find like a kind of list of uh, uh, t supervisors teachers faculties so uh, check the can click on the school which you have applied to like for example I want to apply for business or I want to apply for information or want to apply for masters in technology or whatever just click on that and uh, look for uh, the supervisor whatever you want to contact 
first of all click on the supervisor for example i want to um, like uh, contact this supervisor which is head of the school management technology and chairperson of management technology curriculum so this is the email address of the person which is the official one so you're supposed to uh, email this supervisor regarding your internship regarding your topic regarding his uh, uh, attention so send your research work or whatever you have for this internship which is related to this internship uh, if you have some kind of a plan for research or something like that uh, including your resume including your motivational letter and uh, with a great gesture so that he can or she can make uh, good response to your application so this is how you can find the faculty and I will recommend you that uh, make a proper email and email that the same email with just changing the name of the professors and send it to at least five or six professors so that uh, some of them might reply with you with the with the in a short period of time so the last date to apply for this uh, internship is uh, 28th of february which means you have almost a month from now on so i wish you guys best of luck this is all the process and uh, if you guys have any difficulties questions you guys can contact me in the comment sections below thank you so much for watching guys have a great time i love this